up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And a lot of people be asking me about Chicago. They know I'm a real street reporter. They know I'm like a drill historian. So they be asking me questions about the culture. Today I get an opportunity to talk to one of the major players involved in the culture. Now for the people who don't know what's going on, you'll tell them exactly what your name is and where you're from, bro. Um, Wody from over east. 71st of Pakistan. Okay, now you just said something I kind of want to pinpoint, all right? Now, you said Paxtown. Um, I hear about that and I see it. Uh, can you tell me exactly where is that located at? Um, in the South Shore area, like right off. I mean, you actually can get right off Lakeshore Drive, you know, hop on Jeffrey. And once you're in Jeffrey, shit, from 67th to 71st, shit, you're in Paxtown. Right. Like right that? off the lake, right off the lake. That's all oh, right. That's the east yeah. side. Yeah, that's the east side. That's the okay. east side. That's the real east side. Like I don't consider, like I don't know. A lot of people probably consider the east side like from what they say, uh, state, state to the lake. lake. Yeah, state okay. to the lake. <laughs> okay. But you know, I just look at it like from. from st I ain't gonna even. <laughs> I'm gonna say from cottage. I'm gonna say from cottage all the way back to like South Shore Drive. That's that's the east side to me. I was gonna say Stony to the lake, but. No, I can't leave for them out too. For them, for them, they they east side too, though, so I can't leave them out though. So yeah, I say from cottage to 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 the lake to South Shore. Okay, um, you know what? Like I said in a couple of interviews, normally neighborhoods in Chicago be named after uh, people who done lost their life due to gun violence or like a crazy situation. Y'all neighborhood not named after nobody who lost their life. I mean, yeah, we got a we got a couple. But you know it all. It all fall under, you know, the the Paxtown umbrella. Okay. You know? So what is Paxtown? That's like a name of a block out there or something. I mean, that's 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 basically like where where what street it started on. Oh, you know what I'm okay. saying? But we got the whole area, but it's like basically like the street that we started on, where that it was started on, cause it was before my time, you know. But okay. yeah, you know, cause I kind of thought Paxton was a person for for a second. I don't. <laughs> because I see people name it. Right, 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 right. I mean, it might be shit. I mean, but that's just the name of the block that, right. you know. Okay. That, you know. Um, how was it growing up out there? Because I'm not going to lie. When I, you know, a lot of people seem to talk about like Woodlawn and Inglewood, you know, right. but I ain't going to lie. When I, when I looked into it, it looked like a lot of crazy stuff happened out there where you from. How do you move around in a community like that? I mean, it's basically like shit. It's a lot of crazy shit going on everywhere. It just depends on, you know, who you is. That you know, that's that 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 goes to like how you move. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, you somebody out here. You know that's, you know. I mean, you in the streets. You know, and you and you active in any type of way. You know, get money or however. But yeah, you most definitely gotta move a certain way though. You know? That's why that's why a lot of people fail at like. Um, no, they just be too friendly, over friendly, just going anywhere and just be, you can't be like that. Hey, I'm no, like, mm -hmm. that should have cost you. It cost, it cost a lot of people, so, you know, I just try to move a little bit different. I don't, I don't do a lot of shit that niggas do at all, and I'm, I'm cool with that shit. It's about survival shit. If that's what keep, if, if moving how I be moving keep me alive, I'm cool with that, you feel me? And you know, the reason I ask you that is because, you know, I see a lot of activity as far as rappers getting in situations and as far as even rappers losing their life in Chicago, okay? I'm not going to lie, for some reason, you got the face that makes me feel like, you know, a lot of people know who you are, you know? When I think of Paxtown, I think of Wody, okay? You know? I'm not saying that might be a good thing. I mean, no, nah, I mean, because, you know, you are who you are, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you can't change that. You know, you, you got two choices in this shit. You know what I'm saying? When you when you first step in, you either could be in it and decide that you're going to be in it or you, you know what I'm saying, you can be in it and decide that you're not. You know, I've seen a lot of people hopped in this shit and was like, nah, nah, this ain't for me. Like, bro, you know, and I and, and I, I respect them the most, though. I respect them the most because they ain't really trying to beat, they ain't trying to beat nothing that, that they not. And that's what, that's another thing that costs a lot of niggas out here. Like, niggas be trying to. Be shit that they not though, you know, but yeah. But you know what, with everybody knowing you though, like I'm saying, everybody know I feel like a lot of people know who you is. I think you're one of the most famous drill rappers who the out of state people might not know. You know, I think people right. out here in, in this area know exactly who you is, right? Is this safe for you though, walking down here in these streets? 
No. Nah, you gotta look over your shoulders and shit. I ain't gonna say it's I ain't gonna say it's safe. I ain't right. gonna never say it's safe. You gotta you gotta stay dangerous. And then on top of that though, like, you know, I I, I was who I was before social media. You know what I'm saying? Like right. before like a lot of people I ain't never heard of until social media came about. You know, a lot of a lot of niggas that people be talking about on YouTube or shit like that, but nah, I was who I was before social media. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, that's that's basically how motherfuckers knew me. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? So when I started being on the internet and shit, like, motherfuckers like, oh, yeah, that's rodeo, you know, shit like that. Yeah, but. You know what else I heard a lot about, and I have spoke on this before, because I hear a lot about it when I cut on the internet. You know, for the last couple of years, I've been hearing this thing called the BDK, GDK war, okay? Right. And I see that with, like, the Inglewoods and, like, areas around Washington Park. Did that, did that cross over to the east side? I mean, I mean, I guess you could say yeah in like certain areas, mm. but that didn't really, it didn't really cross over to us though. Cause like at the end of the day, you know, what everybody else be having going on don't really be having shit to go on with us unless it some some type of way like make it way that way through some through some other shit. But you know, before like see this one no internet shit. You know, we want them on no internet shit. So. You wouldn't know, you know what I'm saying, like who we what was what what was going on around the town. Like it's shit that was going on with, you know, my hood and the BDs before, you know, the shit I ain't gonna say before old block thought about, it, but just in over east, like with that area though. So a lot of motherfuckers wouldn't know that though. Like Big Bro never been into it with they had war with the BDs and, you know, shit came about, you know, it came and went though. But like I say it just wasn't Broadcast or you know like put all over the internet like the rest of this shit be though, so nah it didn't it didn't it didn't affect us. I mean, little situation happened one time, you know, but other than that, no, nah, no. Nah. But you know what? I'm glad you said that because I want to speak on something. You know, um, especially like with the old block thing. Um, I recall waking up one morning. It's a rapper from Chicago. He drops a song. He going at the BDS. He going at Oak Block, he going at 600, Lamb Run, he dissing all they dead homies. And then he told everyone he's from Paxtown. Mm -hmm. He goes by the name of Fendi Boy. Now, when he did that, the whole world stopped saying, oh, he's from Paxtown. Wody name comes up, okay? All right. How did you feel about that? I mean, like before, before, I think, what was that? Before he did the little. Um, you know, the, the song to the, I guess, the duck shit, the remix of Dead Bitches and shit like that. Like, you know, the bro was doing, he been doing this music shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he not from Paxtown, but, you know, he grew up, you know, around there. You know what I'm saying? He had got locked up with some shit for a little minute. So, you know, one, one of them motherfuckers seen him when he got out. You know, he got to doing what he was doing on the music. So, when he was doing all that dissing and... God damn it, he put our name in there. You know, motherfucker was thinking like, oh, he from Paxtown. And 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 we and one never like, I see all the type of shit on the internet, like people was telling him, oh, don't trust them. They gonna backdoor you or nothing like that. Right, like, oh, I listen, that too. For one, we don't give a fuck about, you know what I'm saying, none of that other shit that's going on. You know, if we did that, yeah, or, or like I told motherfuckers. If 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 a motherfucker was, was cloud chasing when 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 Fendi dropped that song, he you know what I'm saying he he asked me like to get on that, like, oh, you know what I'm did. saying he like damn bro you know big bro ooh, ooh. so I'm like you know at the end of the day I'm like nah because I I liked it when he first dropped it but I knew you know what I'm saying like it was gonna be shit behind it because it started coming behind it like I right, first of all bro you know you good you know you little bro but you know we out here besides the rap shit we still in the hood every day. You know, we, we, we out there, like, a lot of motherfuckers over East, I ain't saying it's a good thing, you know what I'm saying, because that's how people, you know, it's, it's easy to kill motherfuckers, like, motherfuckers be understanding, like, oh, okay, they got a lot of, a lot of dead homies. Any motherfucker gonna have a lot of dead homies if motherfucker get killed Monday and Tuesday, motherfuckers right back there, you know what I'm saying, like, we, we be outside, you know what I'm saying, if you come over East, you might go through a couple places, you know what I'm saying, that it might not be no motherfuckers outside, you know, but that's, you know, I ain't saying that ain't, that ain't smart, you know what I'm saying, but it just, you know, the way shit that be set up though, but 
Yeah, I ain't had no problem with little bro, you know what I'm saying, doing his shit. I just like, I was just like, don't have no motherfuckers coming over here looking for you. And you saying you from Paxtown and you ain't out here. Like, I ain't taking nothing from little bro, whatever he be doing, he doing. I ain't saying no bitch, no hoe, no none of that. But I'm saying like, you ain't out here in the field with us, little bro. Like, motherfucker come through and... You know, if something happened to one of my phone, be looking at you like, you know, we ain't about nothing about being scared of no motherfucker or no shit like that. Cause, you know, you say certain names, certain hood, motherfucker be automatic thinking like, oh, they, oh, nah, he's probably saying that because they don't want to get into it with them or they don't want, nah, I ain't gonna really say too much about getting into it with no motherfucker though, bro. But we don't be, we don't be worried about nobody. You know what I'm saying? Been in war for a long, 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 long time. So it ain't gonna make no difference. You know, ain't gonna make no difference who it is, you know? Yeah. Mm. But Finny, you know that's little bro, he cool. You know, that was the, um... I know. That's bro right there, the, I, I um, know, yeah. Man. And you know what? And that just, yeah, clicked, that just clicked in to me right yeah. there. That is big yeah, and he, video. listen, he told him... Yeah, that just clicked in to me real quick. He told him exactly what, you know, needed to be said. Yeah, like, and, 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 then, <laughs> and then, look, people was thinking, like, if you read the comments, people was thinking, like, Fendi, they gonna back though. You know, bro was just telling him real life shit because this actually one of the people who he used to really, really, really be around. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fendi had been around some members, you know what I'm saying? But it was because of being around him. Big guy, I wanna ask you something if that's okay. Um, in that infamous video, okay? Mm -hmm. Now that it just clicked in to me that that was you in the video, um, he seen to look at you with like a, a respect level in that yeah. video, you know? But we can tell that you official from that video. We can we can sense that shit. Oh, no, okay? at the end of the day, that's still little bro. I still got love for him. I still link up with him. We still kick it. You know what I'm saying? Like oh. that's that that social media shit. That social media life on it's on a different level. Oh. And if you ask him for that, you should seek and find. You know what I'm saying? But I never disclose. He know just as well as I know. I've been told him before he started rapping. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause a lot of people kind of you know, felt like- Go in that lane if you ain't ready for that shit. <laughs> a lot of people kind of felt like he promised that. Promised to like, you know nah, what I'm saying? Right, something to y'all. Nah, it wasn't- We do what? a fuck it up challenge with the cash. Right, we we don't don't like, 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 right, like what fuck trying to make it seem like, nah. oh. Oh, uh, 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 no. Brody been rapping, or he was Fendi hot. Listen, this ain't got shit to do with no rap shit. This ain't got nothing to do with no rap shit. What Big Bro was telling him is that, man, you hopping on this internet, front of your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some shit you need to be cleaning up. Like, we shouldn't even have to be speaking on that. You should have been the one saying, like, no. I ain't from Paxton, but I grew up in Paxton, and I was around some, you know, some members. You know what I'm saying? Left it as that, though, like... You know, I, I, I don't know. I just, all that shit was weird. People looked at that shit the wrong way. Like a motherfucker was, was trying to, like, like cloud chase about some rap shit when bro got on his ass. This ain't nothing about no rap shit. Like a motherfucker don't even really care about that rap shit. Now when it comes to this street shit, like, you can't mix that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why a motherfucker be saying, a motherfucker make a diss song about you. Like, is y'all really, nah, we ain't beefing. He made a diss song. We ain't beefing. If ain't, if ain't nobody done died, there ain't been no shots fired, ain't no beef. Most definitely. I wanted to ask you that, though. And, and I think you might have spoke on that on another interview, but the people wanted me to ask you that, you know. Um, I wish the motherfucker just brought him in to show motherfucker, like, we ain't doing it. It's not that. And everybody think we a backdoor, some more backdoor. We ain't got the backdoor no motherfucker, man. <laughs> hey, like, I'm this not. shit real, man. What fuck we backdoor you for? That's like, we don't like this hate. Like, it's war. Right. Like, been that. Like, it's so bro. deep, deep, deep. <laughs> We yeah, fuck with Lil Bro, man. Just I can actually internet. say I interviewed him, though, maybe about yeah, a month yeah, and a half, and he told me that he did fuck with y'all. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. Chilling, sitting back, kicking the chilling. Like, yeah. like, it ain't... They but can then, take it what they take it for. I'm all... It's all due respect with me, like... And I ain't gonna never put myself at home where well, some shit nobody else is doing. I'm a grown right. ass man. Especially... Right. And I ain't trying... I'm just saying, any, any nigga in the world... Like hypothetically speaking, it don't. I ain't speaking about one individual. I'm just saying, period. Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna put myself in nobody else shit, and you ain't gonna have no motherfucker else coming trying to kill me because of shit you saying. Mm -hmm. Real shit. Period. Mm -hmm. And you ain't about that, mm -hmm. and you ain't even here around and shit. Mm -hmm. That's another level, bro. Mm -hmm. It's like I'm your what puppet. 
Like what? Yeah. What? I, what, I, what I, like what I look? What am I? Like you gonna, <laughs> gonna demean me? You gonna be demeaning my character? Like what? That's real. What this nigga? What this nigga got niggas out here like this? What the? Nah, nah. Dude, that motherfucker look goofy. Nah. Shit went crazy too. Whoever yeah. recorded that live, put that up there. That motherfucker. It went I crazy. Said, so I, I had to ask you. There's right, no way right, I can hide Wody in this shit, and I asked him about that. Yeah, I know.